This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Hey, we need some competition. Go out and create your own video show, spirit review blog. Just get your domain at GoDaddy.com. Use code EDDR3 and your .com domains will be $7.49. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Harvest Highball. This recipe comes from Kettle One. And so what I did is I I put them all out for display. This is some of the stuff we got into review. And I want to show off these because for those that like to think ahead and buy some of the stuff that we create for the show, orange vodka or or orange, orange. So we got our orange vodka, but that's for a different show. I haven't figured out what recipe I want to use. If you have a good recipe that has orange vodka, send it to this guy. <clears throat> so what we're going to use today is a citrus style vodka. We're using Kettle One Citroen, and that will be what is the main component for the Harvest Highball. We're going to do an ounce and a half of the Kettle One for that. We're going to do two ounces topped of ginger beer. Chilling. That's funny. Anyway. To you. Uh, we're going to use a half ounce of lime and a half ounce of simple syrup. So what that should kind of do is build them almost like a sweet sour mix on the fly. On the fly. With some of the, the citrus from the vodka and ginger beer. Could be good for harvest. Or I don't need one of these. I got one. Or could just be good overall. We're going to shake it. We're going to strain it. We're going to throw it in a highball glass. Otherwise, it would be called a harvest lowball or a harvest cocktail. Or a harvest shooter, harvest nifter. Just build it. House and a half, kettle one, Citroen. What else do we have? They have Citroen. I've heard of Citronge. Well, that's a different one. Or that's Citrus. Orange. Citronge? Should be the lemon. Are you German. talking about Patron? Yeah. Well, it's Patron. I thought you said, but it's still. It's orange. It's, it's their orange liqueur. You're right. Orange is still citrus, though. Right? Yeah. That's always confuses me. Is If you have a citrus product, here's another good one. The Hamoni Smooth Lemon. See, they called it lemon, which makes more sense, because then you know what you're getting. You're getting lemon. Citrus, to me, is anything that comes from a citrus tree. That could be lemon, limes, oranges. Help me out. There's going to be some other citrus. Nothing I know of off the top of my head. Really? Okay. Grapefruit. Grapefruit. Uh, citrus. I, I don't know. Probably. No, it's a melon, right? I think a it's melon? a melon. No idea. So there's our half ounce. Maybe like a little an more. orange. It's not like a cantaloupe. Uh, uh, really? Grapefruit, yeah. I always picture like a water. What? Why do I call it water? The green. The green melon. Honeydew. Honeydew. Oh, it's like a big orange. Oh. Doesn't taste like an orange. So far, this looks like a lemon drop. Boom. Right? You feeling me? No, I can't see it. Yeah. So. Yes? So this is, we're going to be shipping this out the day after Thanksgiving. Ooh, it's got some suds. <clears throat> but I guess you can't use this recipe for the right season. We had some it's shipping harvest. issues. It is a harvest, though, so you can kind of get away with... The whole thing is harvest. Yeah. Fall is harvest. It's a seasonal thing. Right. It's not fall. Is it still fall? Yes. I don't even know. Until like December 21st or something like that. Really? That far into the season, huh? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's good because I have a lot more seasonal style cocktails that I've been getting. So it would be good to cover a few of them. I'm going to do two ounces like this. <laughs> Pretty uh, foamy. There we go. So, presentation looks like lemonade. Blah. Yeah, we could have used some grenadine in here. 
<laughs> then it would just be red. I don't know what you could do. Blue blue curacao. You guys can't see this. Midori. But my cruising ball. Midori. We're going to probably awesome. make it a different drink at that point. Yeah, you are. Put Midori in here. It's just like this, only with Midori. That's melon. It smells like lots of ginger. We're talking about citrus, not melon. Hot. Uh, no, cold. Just seeing if I... Normally, I don't like to stir them too much when they're topped unless it says to. I don't think it did. Hmm. Very refreshing. Crisp. I like ginger, so you're going to have to bear with me. If you're not a ginger liker or ginger beer, which this drink has a good amount of ginger. Very spiky, like strong, like spicy. and spiky. I don't know. It's just got some zinginess to it. Kind of hot spice, but not hot like... Nope, oh, that's bitters. Hot like Tabasco. Not like that. More like a... I don't know. How else you compare ginger? It's just got a good spice to it. And then on the second the second end near the this mid-palate transition into the finish is a, is a very striking lemon flavor. Um, a little bit of bitter. I don't know if I'm getting a lot of sweetness out of it. I would say this is a very intense drink in your mouth. Lots of different flavors, lots of gingers and lemons and, and sweetnesses and sours all happening at the same time, but very exciting. See, I could drink this. This is like a dark and stormy. I could drink those all day. Well, to a degree. Uh, but if you like the lemon and you like ginger, those are your basic two primary components. All the rest of the stuff, like the sweetnesses and the, the sours, that's all secondary to the, the ginger and the lemon. So there you go. A little kettle one. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv. Do we have anything else today? Do we have anything to say? No. We're teaching you how to drink.